Hi, I'm Matt Drake, and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to do a HDR panorama. For those who are not familiar with HDR, it stands for High Dynamic Ranging, and it allows you to use a set of photos at different exposures to create one merge photo of greater dynamic range. Let's just get the show on the road and get cracking. To start, you go in Photoshop, then you go File, Automate, then merge to HDR Pro. You'll then be presented with this panel which tells you you need to choose two or more files from a set of exposures to merge and we'll go find our first set. For the purposes of this tutorial I created seven sets of photos each having seven photos at each set so yeah see how it goes. Set one. And since there's seven there, you want to select them all. Then you go open. I would strongly recommend you'd want to automatically align the source images. So once you're happy with those, hit OK. And the magic begins. Oh, it's just finished merging all those photos to HDR and as you can see it, it shows what kind of different exposure levels or ratios have been taken. Now you want to choose a different preset because one that default looks kind of average at best so the types of presets you can choose from such as saturate which brightens up the colors or if you want a bit retro you, you got monochrome mode monochromatic I should say and it will give you this result but for purposes of this tutorial I create my own preset which is here and as a general rule you'd want to remove any ghosting in the image otherwise it will just wreck it and here we are I'm actually quite satisfied with this so once you're satisfied with it you hit OK and it'll just start merging. Now depending on the system spec this will take some time so patience is a big thing with HDR. Right, that's pretty much finished merging all those photos to HDR. And as always, you want to save them. So go File, Save As. And for the purposes of this tutorial, I'll create a folder called Tutorial Stuff, just where I'll be saving the thing here. So let's just call this one HDR Image 1 and you want it as a .psd file, so you go save yeah, it's already there, but I'll replace it anyway right, now you, that's got all of those here's the stuff I prepared earlier for the tutorial for the purposes of this tutorial I should say uh, again, I said I had to total 7 sets of photos 7 photos each per set and as you can see, this is what I want to try and do. Right, at this stage I would want to merge them, so how this will go. I'll go File, Automate, Photo Merge. Many of you by now would be familiar with panoramas, so basically you just go open and then grab all the PSD files you want to merge. 
and then you hit OK once you satisfy with both. And for purposes of this tutorial, I set the layout to auto. And let the magic begin. Depending on the sister spec, this will take some time. So, again, patience is needed for this sort of thing. To plan, then you should get something like this. Well, it looks perfect. Well, almost, except for those white parts. So, once you get those, once the panorama is created, you want to merge the layer as I did earlier to, for the purposes of this tutorial. And you want to use the one tool, which is the shortcut key for W, so you want to click on that. It'll get all those. Now, you want to fill that, so you want to use the fill tool. And to access that first shortcut, you go Shift F5. Or if you're using a Mac or a MacBook Pro like I am, you go Shift Function F5. Now, because we want to use the Content Aware tool, which hopefully a lot of you will be familiar with this by now, you select that option and then you hit OK. But for this purposes of this tutorial, here's one I prepared earlier. It does the job, well, almost, but you can see those white bits, so you'll have to get rid of those. So you want to zoom in, and you would you want to use the crop tool, so to get that, you just hit this little guy, or you just press C on the keyboard. Now, this is just based on estimates. You want to stretch the image from here. to about there. Once you're happy with it, just press enter and it will crop away. Almost got it. There, perfect. Now that's how the HDR panorama should work, and that would conclude my tutorial.